Hello everyone, we are back with a new video. Today we are going to show you some advanced tips on running EAs on VPS servers. As you know, it is very important for an algo trader to have the trading software up and running 24 by 7 without any interruptions, else they can make your trades go haywire and lose money. When you buy a Windows VPS subscription, the service provider will usually give you an IP address, a username, and a password. What you need to do is to open up the Windows Remote Desktop and enter the credentials to log on to the VPS server. After the login, it is just like having a separate computer. You can simply open the browser on the VPS server and visit the broker site and download the trading platform. Then you just need to install it and use it, like you download and install any other software on your local PC. The main difference is that even if you close the Windows Remote Desktop connection or shut down your PC, your VPS server does not shut down, and it continues to work 24 by 7 unless any issue is there with the VPS server or service provider. Although most VPS server providers promise 99.99% uptime, it is quite possible for a VPS server to go down anytime. Therefore, we need to be notified of any VPS downtime and get the VPS server and trading platform back online as soon as possible to avoid any serious trading losses. Here we are looking at some steps we can take to minimize the effects of server downtime. We will be showing these tweaks on a VPS that runs Windows Server 2016, but the procedure should be similar for any other Windows version. First thing you must do is to add your trading platform to your VPS startup folder so that your platform will be automatically restarted when the server restarts without your knowledge. Let's do it. On Windows Search, type Run and then open that app. Then type shell colon startup and then click OK. Then you will get the startup folder. Now you just need to copy your trading platform shortcut link in this startup folder. Now whenever the server restarts, you will get your trading platform started again automatically. Next thing you can do is to set up alerts when your server goes down. This can be achieved with third-party services. There are many services that provide this service. One free service we would recommend is Uptime Robot. Let's see how we do it. Before going to Uptime Robot, we need to do a few changes in your VPS settings. Go to the VPS server. Search and find Windows Firewall with advanced security. Then select Inbound Rules and then make sure both file and printer sharing echo requests are enabled. Now go to UptimeRobot.com and register a free account with your email. Then log into the website with your registered username and password. Now on the top right corner, select My Settings under your email address. Then under Alert Contacts, you can select the type of alerts you want to get when the server goes offline. You may add various alert types such as email, SMS, Telegram, etc. Then add whatever the types of alerts you need. Then on the top left corner, click on Add Monitor and then select Ping as Monitor Type. Then you need to add a friendly name to this monitor and then add your VPS server IP address in the IP field. On the right hand side, you can select the type of alerts you need which you previously set up. Once all the options are set up, click on Create Monitor. Now whenever your VPS server goes down, you will get notifications instantly so that you can follow up the issue with your VPS provider and move your trading software to another VPS if the downtime is going to be too long. Now let's see how you can set up email functionality on your MetaTrader with Gmail SMTP. Most EAs can send emails in various situations like disconnecting with the broker's server, reaching a certain drawdown level, etc. These can be useful to keep track of your account. However, Gmail no longer supports less secure apps and now you need to create a separate app password to get Google email working on your MetaTrader. First, you need to go to your Google account and enable two-step verification.
Once two-step verification is done, you will see an option for app passwords. Click on this and then give it a name. Then you will be given an app password. Make a note of this password as we need this on MetaTrader email setup. Now go to your MetaTrader options and then select the email tab. Then tick on enable email. On the SMTP server, type smtp.google.com colon 465. On SMTP login, type your Gmail address. On the SMTP password, paste the app password that we generated before. For both to and from, use your Gmail address again. Then you may test the setup by clicking the test button if necessary. Once everything is done, then click on the OK button. Now you have enabled emailing and you will receive an email sent by your EA. Now we are going to enable auto login to our VPS server. If you have not enabled this and then the server restarts, the server will not log on to your VPS and then the programs will not start automatically. Enabling auto login does not mean that anyone can log in to your VPS server via remote desktop without the password. You will still need the remote desktop password. However, the risk is that someone with your VPS provider who has physical access to the hardware server may be able to access your VPS. Although this could pose some less likely security risks, you will be making a much bigger damage to your trading account if your trading platform does not automatically restart and any existing trades go haywire without any control. Therefore, we recommend you do this. Go to Windows Search and type Run and then run that app. Now type NetPLWiz and click OK. Then you may need to re-enter your VPS logins. Then another window will appear. All you need to make sure is that you have unticked the password requirement option, then click OK. Now your VPS will log in automatically if the server restarts and your trading platforms can be automatically restarted. Now we need to disable the server shutdown tracker. When the Windows server restarts, it will pop up a shutdown tracker window where you need to type a reason for the restart. Until this step is completed, no other startup hold apps may not automatically start. So, we need to disable this shutdown tracker in order to automatically restart our trading platform. Hit the Run app again and type gpedit.msc and then click OK. Then expand Computer Configuration, expand Administrative Templates, and then expand the system. Now double-click on the Display Shutdown Tracker and then select Disabled and then select OK. Now the shutdown tracker will no longer be required on restarts. Now we are going to stop Auto Start Server Manager. When the server restarts, it will usually open the Server Manager app. This can also cause issues with our trading platforms. So we recommend you disable the auto start of the Server Manager as well. Go to Search and type Server Manager to start the app. Under the Manage menu, click Server Manager Properties. Then on the Server Manager Properties window, make sure you have checked Do Not Start Server Manager option. Now, the server manager will not start on each restart. Finally, we need to disable auto server updates and make it manual only. This is because auto updates may cause your trading platforms to stop working without your knowledge. Go to search and open Windows PowerShell. Then type S-C-O-N-F-I-G and hit enter. Then type the number relating to Windows Update Settings. Then type M to set it as Manual. Now you will not get server updates automatically, but it is a good idea to check for updates manually and update the server manually on a regular basis. It's done! We have set up everything. Now you can use your VPS with less worries on restarts and downtime. If you have any questions let us know in the comments and do not forget to subscribe to our channel to see our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you around.